survey was no. a major company, no. no, not a full wide all sky survey like Galax did. But we have planned to do a survey initially. Yes. But right. then you see, Galax got proposed and flew off in it's a much shorter time than our planning. Plan, yes, okay. planning before. No. Before Galax. Yeah. Before yeah. Galax, yes. Galax, Galax they did. Uh, so we decided to go for specific one. Yeah. But then we wanted to do object-based service, like to look at only yeah. active galaxies. And deep fields. We had yeah. identified oh, Chandra, yeah. HST, deep fields. That's right. That's right. That we should so that have also been looked at by galaxies. Yeah. Also. No, but, also. but we are thinking more specific. Definitely, yeah. because you have a better resolution, it will be able to go deeper. But uh, some of those things we have seen. I think That's still it will take a long time for the data to get. Because normally the redundancy which led to the NUVs are UVs being separate. Because also the photo cathodes are some stage, yeah, right? Yes, yes. That they yes, have to be different true. and that's, yeah, yeah. Both, both. that's when we decide. No, but yeah. there were detectors, there were detectors available which can do both, both, but with lesser efficiency. Lesser efficiency. Yeah, but, uh, uh, Galaxy is that, right? They have three yeah. little yeah. But we didn't want to do that one color for the uh, yeah. It's always better to give it a half. Ah, the right. photons are less. instrumentation, all payloads. It starts with the science uh, goal, but it's a lot of engineering and technology. Right. And then it ends also with the science. So it yeah. makes a full circle actually. And the team has to consist of four types of people, both people with different expertise, different expertise, and also people to fill in the gaps between these two also. I mean, some people like me who fill in little bit of science and little bit of engineering. That and is management. also needed. No. See, I'll no, tell you one thing. Uh, this is not just UBIT. I'll tell you, when yes. I entered this institute itself, <laughs> okay, I came from Bits Pelan. It's an engineering institute. I knew quite a bit of engineering because they're a common program. So when I came here itself, instead of continuing as a student, I was given a job and told to work on the 2.3 meter thing. So I am interacting with Tapade engineers and engineers right from day one. So I had including the private. Yeah, yeah, including private. So I had no difficulty. Okay. So we uh, sitting in institute. Yeah. We had to every day interact with the engineers and Tapade. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it became part of our uh, regular. Yeah. So no, that no, this is, is the shape. That is the difference. The early, you have to do that. The people who were there when the starting of the institute had this experience. Then somewhere it got detached and now again it has got right. merged with space. Challenge, you have a challenging idea, you have to pass, not only pursue that, you have to go back, do all kinds of work for it. And, but then you have to be convinced that it's what you need. And that's how we started. You know, we, we wanted to have a UV facility. You no, know, we are optical and very close to UV. There is nothing in India, no business, nothing at all until UVIT started. Mm -hmm. See, this is our first, amazing thing is this is our first experiment and it's giving you such glorious uh, results. First experiment in UV. We had to go a long way. I would say that uh, making this kind of optics is a big challenge from design to uh, fabricating it, particularly uh, the UV kind of optics where the scattering is the biggest uh, problem and so micro roughness going to one extreme kind of thing, all that is needed and that creates a class and in my opinion any telescope when you make it uses the best of the technology of that particular place. So you have to see in your background when you are deciding a, a, a instrument that what you have all around, otherwise you will be looking to others only, which takes so much of time and some of the things we have got now had taken time because some of the things were not available. At that time. Most students think if they want to do astronomy, they have to do a special subject love connected with astronomy. I don't think that's necessary. You can do engineering, electronics, mechanical, computer science, whatever. 
you can also do physics maths and then all these members have to come together to actually realize the best astronomy studies and results thereof so uh, unless this is done you won't get the best results because the instrument or the facility has to be able to give the required sensitivity resolution etc for to get the best results in science that i think is the main thing so don't worry if you have got into an engineering stream and that you you lost your chance in astronomy just when you choose your career probably choose the right place where you can contribute to whatever subject you want not just astronomy many subjects